have no idea how far away you guys really are right now. Um, just sitting on the couch, was going to do a story time about the experience I had literally a couple of days ago um, when a shoot fell through, but the entire experience of up to the shoot falling through um, was something that I thought instead of writing that person out because that's just not my jam, um, I'll turn it into a positive and a learning experience and hopefully teach you guys some stuff so that you can make sure that this doesn't happen to you. So a few days ago, well, probably a week ago, I had um, I had applied for a job on Star Now. Now Star Now is one of those platforms on the internet where there's a lot of casting calls and they're pretty much for freelancers. Uh, you can get paid gigs, you can do TFP, uh, which is time for proofs, time for print. Sorry, there's always a dog wanting to bark when I want to tell my story. Okay, so, and you can also do unpaid work, but I like to do, obviously, the paid work. I mean, I've gone overseas, I've done my diploma, I've come back, I've got a lot of experience under my belt, I'm not gonna lie. I do, I do do, I do some unpaid work as well. Like, for instance, I just got into a production, it's a community theatre play, but I am in love with the story and I really wanted to get to know that theatre. So when that stuff calls to me, I'm more than happy to, you know, not get paid for it. Because I know in the long run it'll benefit me anyway. Like I get to meet all these amazing people, get to network, and also get to play a character that I haven't really played and can pull my CV in. Uh, show more of a range to casting directors. Anyway, not the story I want to talk to you about, but the story that I want to talk about is I was going back and forth with this person. So we were supposed to do a show reel scenes together and I was going back and forth with, with, with this person and the red flags kept pinging, but I kept dodging them. But Girls and guys, if there's a red flag and you feel it in your gut that this is not going to work, then pull out before it's too late. Luckily, I think God was on my side and he pulled me out before it was too late or whatever happened, I'm not quite sure. Um, I got the script, I learnt the script, and then they asked for a, um, a self-tape of the script. And, you know, I'm all for it. I'm all for giving a self-tape. I'm not going to say, hey, pick me before you see things. But up to that point, I had already gotten instructions on what costume to wear. Um, I already got in what, like, you know, what date the shoot was on. All this stuff that usually happens when you've been chosen. And I thought maybe they've seen my show reel before and thought, okay, just based on that. Um, and this self-tape was two days before the shoot. So that's when my alarm bells kept ringing. So I was like, this is two days before the shoot and you're not sure whether you're going to choose me or not. Now, if this was a casting call for, with my agent and there was an audition or they wanted to see something and that was two days before a shoot, I would totally get it because a lot of TV productions and, and commercials in particular, they're on a very tight time frame. Like, you can be called two days before to say you've got the job or you can be called two days before to say, hey, can you fly to this state so that you can be here to do the shoot kind of thing, like for a fitting, things like that. Anyway, um, and that's fine because your agent takes care of you. But with these freelancing jobs, I would really much prefer to probably not condone that and more so think about it like, hey, make sure all your ducks are in a row a week before the shoot at least. Um, you should know and you should have a meeting with the crew and or the, even just the director or the other actors um, prior to the shoot. Just so you know that things are kosher, things are good. Um, it's not, because you don't know these people, they're strangers and it's not like they've been vetted by an agent. So you, have, you do have to be careful. Um, Star Now is really good at vetting them out as well. Like there's been a few projects that I have gone for or have applied for to audition and I get a message saying that they've pulled that project from their database because 
it didn't go like they didn't meet the guidelines or something like that which is really cool which is nice to know that there is something there but you know things fall through the cracks and it's not stone out at all but so I did that he, they loved the, the self-tape but the day before they they said okay well the shoot will be happening uh, early morning because we want to get the sunrise are you able is that something that you're able to do and I said well I'm already in it so yeah may as well do it um, I'm, I'm not one to shy away from an early shoot and I thought great I can do this shoot I can come home I can get some other work done it's not going to take all day it's one scene kind of thing um, um, but I didn't receive an address I received the time but I didn't receive an address now prior to this I had asked for a call sheet and was told that there was going to be a call sheet sent to me but the wording that the person did was like the context that or subtext I should say that I took away from her was why does she need a call sheet for now these are the simple things <laughs> what I learned from this experience you do need a call sheet and you need that call sheet minimum 12 hours prior to a shoot so that you can get your affairs in order and you're like 12 hours that's really short notice well sometimes especially with extra work they get the extras and they notify the extras 12 hours beforehand i've had my agent tell me 6 p.m one night that hey you have to be on set at 4 a.m the next morning here's the call sheet here's the details but the call sheet is kind of like a bible for an actor actor or actress um it provides you with address it provides you with time provides you with sunrise sunset that sort of thing but provide you with an estimated wrap time as well so that you can kind of be like, okay, how long am I going to be here for? Do I need to bring snacks, things like that? Do I need to bring a book? Do I need to do this? It also shows you like when you're going to be filming, if you need to be, what time you have to be in the makeup chair or what time you have to do your hair um, or what time the first shot is going to be taken or the first scene is going to be taken. It also tells you all the crew details, so who's on the crew, and then numbers. And the two numbers that you really should just be focused on is either the production assistant or maybe it's not a production assistant, it's a second, it's a second AD um, or first AD. Um, otherwise, there's, if it's a smaller crew, then it's the director or producer. Um, but those are the numbers that you kind of need. And the fact why I keep kind of saying numbers is because I didn't have a number to call. Um, so it got to a point and you're probably like, okay, well, you know the time, but you just don't know the address. What's the big deal? It's like, well, I needed to get up at 3.50 a.m. to in order to get to the area. So I, I was told what area it was going to be in. Um, I wasn't told the exact address. Um, so I decided, you know, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to wake up and if there's no address, then I'm not going to go. And that's fine. So you're going to need a phone number because if you get into a situation that I have gotten into, then this could have all been resolved quite quickly just by a phone call. Especially when things may slip people's minds if you're not going to a professional set and it's not done by your agent. If this is all done by your agent, you don't really have to worry. You just have to sit back and relax. Um, but a call sheet is definitely a must on my list now because I don't want to do what I did last time, which is wake up at 3.50 a.m., still have no address, go back to sleep. And basically I did message the person and say, hey, I am up at this time, but I won't be able to make the shoot because there's no address. Um, so yeah, and basically I went back to sleep. The next day I woke up um, with no, there was no confirmation of anything. The message wasn't read. Um, I did say, I did give them the benefit of the doubt and say that the location fell through, but a confirmation would be nice. But these things don't happen all the time. So, you know, whatever. But the three things that you need to take away from this is that if you don't want to be put in a situation like that, one, make sure that there's a call sheet. Two, get a confirmation that the location and everything is set and that it's not going to fall through probably like two days prior to the shoot happening. 
because you don't want to be <laughs> stressing about it the night before because honestly um, what you do want to be doing the night before is relaxing so much that all you have to remember are the lines and where you're going and things like that you don't need the added pressure and honestly you should not be the one chasing up the, the people of the crew the crew have hired you and they should be chasing you or they should be doing all the leg work your, your main objective for the day is to get on set at the right time, do your lines and go home. That's it. Um, but yeah, if anyone wants to know, basically I did get a response saying that the location did fall through. I got this response at 1 p.m. the next day. Um, yeah, that's, I'm just gonna leave it there. But you know, just don't make the same mistakes I did. And those are three ways to ensure that everything's confirmed and that you can do your job properly and make sure that the set and the crew and everything are actually legit because these things happen, especially when you're on a site like Star Now or another platform where it's more freelancing rather than agency work. Awesome. I hope you enjoyed the mini story, but more so the takeaways from it. And I will see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.